Hello everyone. So in this tutorial, I will show you how to do the stability analysis <coughs> of an amplifier or any other circuit. So in any circuit or amplifier, when you are using a closed loop and you have uh, more than two dominant poles in your system, it may lead to the instability of the system or the circuit. And this mostly happens, this mostly results in from the ringing effect on your uh, transient signal or uh, at the output, maybe the undershoot and overshoot or uh, you have some oscillations which will cause uh, unstability or maybe due to some parasitics of, or you don't have a very good uh, feedback network system leading to the unstability of the amplifier. But here, as you know, I am using a 4-bit cast code OTA, so it has only one dominant pole. So I don't need to uh, worry about uh, the unstability here. But just let's see uh, how to do this stability analysis of any amplifier. So I go here again, the same setup which I had earlier. The only thing is uh, when I was doing the PSRR, because I had to do this XF analysis there, I chose the magnitude here. But now we are again interested in the input and output. That's the V and P and the output. Uh, and then close the loop to see the loop gain and all the parameters which we uh, try to find uh, to make sure our system is stable or an amplifier here. So I go here launch uh, ADL again because the stimuli is defined everything. So I just need to choose the analysis which I'm going to do. So I go here choose analysis and uh, I take the stability analysis here and I sweep it the frequency again let's keep the sweep type automatic and here i need to define the uh, probe instance or terminal which is actually breaking the loop okay so you can see here the description is also coming the same thing so i'll just select and select this i probe so it's from the analog lib you can search it in the analog lib you can also use here uh, VDC source but with the zero voltage it's just or a very small resistance the idea here is just to break the loop with some uh, instance yeah and then the ground I will select the ground here and now okay it's uh, everything is done here so I will simulate it Now to uh, find the, uh, let's say, uh, the, the loop gain or the loop phase or the gain margin, phase margin, and uh, to see whether our system is stable or amplifier here. So I will go now to results, deck plot, and the main form. When I click on the main form, uh, the window will come and it will give me different functions here. So for example, the loop gain, if I want to plot it, yes, modifier, I will keep it magnitude and phase, I want to plot both db20 and i will also add it to the outputs for future use and plot so you can see here this is the loop gain and phase gain uh, let me split it okay uh, okay i will also expand a bit here so you can see this is loop gain phase and this is loop gain so i'll just press v vertical just want to see so my loop gain is around 64 db and Let's see the gain margin and phase margin also. So I'll just close it and go to the next options here, the stability summary. So basically it will uh, print me the uh, phase margin and gaze ma gain margin at the phase margin frequency and gain margin frequency. So I click here, you see here it's printing me the value. So <clears throat> yes, you can see because it's only one pole here. So uh, it's stable and the gain margin around 60 uh, dB for the frequency of 2.25 around gigahertz i can also just see on the phase margin gain margin or you know uh, the frequency is so this is uh, how you can uh, plot the loop gain and uh, loop gain phase to see the how your whether your amplifier is stable or not the other thing what you can do here is you can also go here uh, it's the print option in the adl you can just click on the stability summary, it will print uh, the same things, the phase margin and gain margin at the frequencies. Okay, this is how you do the 
Stability analysis for an amplifier. Thank you.